Welcome back to another episode. Today's topic is failure. Oh man, I just, ooh, I love hearing that word, failure. Man, I've heard it so many times in my life. <laughs> it's not even worth counting anymore. Uh, but here, big thing about failure. Failure is not very different from, from success. It really just depends on your perspective and who's actually looking at it. One person may see a failure, another person may actually see a success. But how can you actually use failures to give you an advantage? Well, we all learn by making mistakes. We all learn by failing. It is something that we do, but it does not define us. There is no one out there that is a failure. Only way you fail is if you quit. If you keep going, yeah, you just have fails along the way on your journey to some bigger thing. So. Failure, just like success, is a tool, all right? Now, we talked about success being a tool and that it can move you forward or it can stop you in your tracks. Failure can do the same thing. It can be the same type of motiva motivator. It just depends on how you actually want to use it. So, for me, again, I don't think it's who you are. It's what you do. It's what we all do, right? So there's no one that's a failure. Again, I've heard failure so many times that, that sometimes the labels stick, but you just had to you had to shove that stuff off and keep doing what you do. All right. Uh, so early fails. I gotta share my fails. Can't talk about failure unless I share my fails. So let's see. I'm gonna put a few key words together. I want you to use your imagination uh, to see what might actually have happened. Uh, so high school class trip, great adventure theme park, lunch, and a tilt a whirl. You might have guessed it. I got sick on a tilt-a-whirl after I ate lunch on a high school senior class trip to Great Adventure. It was one of the most embarrassing moments ever. Uh, I still kind of shudder when I think about it. But you know what? It happened. Uh, I've learned not to eat before I go on rides. That was my big learning lesson. So every time I actually eat and don't go on a ride and feel fine, I consider that a success. So I had to fail in order to succeed. Uh, so let's see, my later fails. Uh, whew, and these are, they, they get bigger over time, right? So later fail. Work 12 years after graduating college for other people and realized that I wasn't getting better at it. I was actually getting worse. It took me 12 years to figure that out. Now, I can look at that as a fail, but I can also look at that as a success. I can look that, at that as a fail and that, man, it took me 12 years to figure out that I think it working for other people. 12 years, that's a long time, but it's a lot less than 30 or 40 years of doing the same thing, realizing I suck at working for other people and having to stomach it for another 18 or 28 years that would be worse. So again, depends on how I look at it, success or failure, I see it as a success. Why? Because it's allowing me to fail in different ways now. So what are my current failures, you ask? Well, my current failures are in business. Yes, I've had failures in business. And the thing is, it's not a bad thing because for every failure, you learn something. So I figured if I'm not gonna work for other people, let me figure out what happens if I actually work for myself. And believe it or not, I'm actually happier. I don't have anyone yelling at me, letting me know, oh, you did that wrong. I want you to do it this way or that way, even though that their way sucked. Um, so I'm happier, right? I get to put my creativity to use in anything that I really want to. I'm actually the boss. So I actually love that. And so every day I actually get to wake up and I get to fail at something, but along the way I'm learning something. So if that's pushing me forward to the success that I envision for myself and for my family, whew, I can fail graciously. I actually love that. So hopefully you got a little bit uh, uh, something more today about failure and that you're not a failure. It's what you do, it's not who you are. And you have to use both failure and success together if you want to reach your goal, you can't use one without the other. You can't get to your goal just saying, I succeeded and I didn't fail. Because everybody knows you failed. You're just kind of hiding it. So don't hide it. Uh, so, you know, as you get those successes under your belt, also talk about the failures. Don't let anyone think that you're perfect. No one's perfect. 
Let them know what you had to go through to get to your destination. What did you have to fail at in order to succeed? All right? So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson on failures. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to talk about some really, really interesting stuff because uh, most people don't get this stuff from me. No one really says, oh, I just love failures. Ooh, I love them to death. I love them right next to my successes. But, but that's me. I'm kind of, kind of weird in that, that capacity. So I appreciate you tuning in and I hope to catch you on the next episode. Bye.